Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This is your sub. I'm going to teach you how to create a firm effect in your After Effects in simple steps. So let's go to the video now. So first you need to create a, a new solid color. So right click it, new and solid color. The ratio will be a bit already um, given. So let's click OK. Now you need a preset i mean you need a generator so like you go to the effect and preset panel and type foam and drag it out into your solid layer now you can play the video you can see the bubbles from uh, center to the outer spaces so go to the effect control panel you can see here you it is draft so change the draft to render mode you can see that render mode will be visibly seen so and you need uh, one more thing uh, and a producer this is uh, how the bubbles was uh, producing it is a uh, location by you can select the position of your bubbles production and and this is a, a which axis you need it x axis or other y axis so I'm going to add one more thing and select the text tool and type foam and centerize it first align in center fix that out and reduce the scale fit to your frame first you need to centerize your key and then reduce the size I mean 600 will be good I think so centerize in your frame and change the color into white and one more thing you need uh, some in a shadow will be a good app because of you need a more depth in your uh, words so right click it and layer style you can see here in in this in a shadow so this will be cool now if you need it uh, need to wish to change its settings you can adjust here I give it in 50 oh sorry 50 not 5 cool and distance will be a bit more and the size will be a little bit big i mean 12 will be good i think good okay fine uh let's okay now you need to get it uh one but you can see the bubbles first now if you are going to how to edit if you are going to bubbles from here to this way so select the bubbles and rename it first bubble because of you don't know how which layer you do in, in future so i make it in uh, for the future purpose because of you know you don't to get confused when you are working in some some more of layers so that's why i'm saying let's select the bubbles now select the producer point to somewhere around here and change the producer x value will be 0 and the producer y size will be 1 point no 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 4 point four five zero will be good i think and now these are settings are the primary but changes to 0.3 because of you need you don't need a too much of uh, too much of bubbles so i choose it out and see here you know now we can hide it you can see the bubbles here then go to the bubbles you can adjust the size you can adjust size of your bubbles here i just it to 0.6 and size of variant which uh, you can see this bubbles is very small and then this bubbles was very big so by adjusting this uh, setting you can adjust the 
size variation uh, life span will be a, uh, I give it to 60 will be good for me because of you don't too much of bubbles in frame so make it out disappear in within few minutes so let's uh, change this lifespan will be a 60 so bubbles growing speed also will default and don't changes you can adjust the uh, I mean the next layer will be a physics uh, here is the initial speed you can select the speed here now play the video first from two cent you can see it's make it a two a time will be rendered mm, now play the video you can see the bubbles will be moving so faster by you can change this uh, values I give two and direction will be a 55 degree I choose it and the wind speed will be a uh, 0.5 will be okay but uh, angle will be 100 now play the video you can see bubbles uh, travel from there the other to this way so it's cool now change the zoom size will be you can adjust the zoom size if you need a zoom out or zoom in whichever you can choose it adjust it one and you know so size will be you can adjust make it more uh, by adjusting overall bubble size so now play the video you can see the bubbles created here to this way so cool uh, I mean now go to the enter I mean render uh, rendering you can choose the blend mode default as per the I uh, should be in the transparent layer so and the bubble texture will be as per default bulb bubbles or um, you can choose a very different but you can get a different kind of bubbles I uh, choose the default bubbles and then go to the bubbles orientation will be affixed to bubbles velocity you can see the difference now let's go fix it and the bubbles velocity so and you need an environment map so I can choose it one environment map you can choose it any images as per your wish I took these images from um, uh, downloaded from Google size okay drag it out in the below it and select this bubble and you can select the environment map to known to scuba diving which uh, layer i mean which uh, jpg file you added in indian layer so select it and now go to it change the effect and mask and turn off the this layer now you can see the bubbles don't match of effect don't need it because of you need a uh, uh, increase the uh, value of a reflection strength choose it at one and reflection conversation will be one you can see now you can see the uh, reflection value you can see the reflection in your bubbles so that's how you can make it a reflection by these settings you can see reduce the reflection strength it will be disappeared if you make it at one I mean full value maximum value is be appearing perfectly so this is also normal uh, if you want to change a high you can change it get a more dramatically have it so I choose it to normal and the final will be a random seed it can choose it uh, if you increase this value the bubbles will be make it out random and uh, create a randomly so I don't need it if you want it you can use it I choose it at one now select the if now turn off the form I mean letter form letter now select this now play the video you want if we are going to make it out the bubbles from this bottom of the letter to uh, go to bubbling the out, outer side of your letter so this down to up is the our way so let's create the bubbles already we get the bubbles 
but uh, but uh, but the bubbles will be uh, very dull dumb color so we go to add one more thing for the glowing effect uh, select this bubbles layer and go to the effect and preset panel and type glow I uh, drag it out the glow into your layer now you can see the bubbles will be more vibrating and increase the glow radius will be 200 and radi glow radiant 2 will be 20 I mean 2 ok and the glow so we will be wanted 50 mm, or 60 will be good I think this is too much of gradient now play the video from start I get created video you can see the bubbles will be created from here to there so let's the bubbles will be I think it would perfect now turn on the foam letter and take a duplicate of your firm for the duplicate control D of your layer and take the bubbles to and duplicate we need want to duplicate before all this is select these two layers and I click it and pre-composition and move all attributes and new compositions so this is a good thing because of you need a going to mask it because I don't want one uh, bubble you we need going to see the bubbles from one side to another side so uh, select the one form layer to track it out in down and select the pre comp i mean select the pre comp take a duplicate and here is a track mat you can't see that if you get this way only track it out. here you can see toggle switch to mode click it you can get the layers I mean these settings so select this uh, this layer I mean rename it first oh. bubbles one and this is bubble two So select the bubble one and nomad to form two. So now you can see uh, now turn on turn off the bubble two. You can see the bubbles only inside your letter. You can see play the video. You can get a uh, bubbles in inside your letters only. So that's it good. Uh, this is the first step of your process I mean uh, this this steps will be the first step of your this part and now select this sung and one and turn on you can see the bubbles outside of your letter so you don't want to below only you want to upside of your letters so you're going to make it a mask so select the path tool for the pen tool for the shortcut will be G select it and draw the path as per if you if you make the form letter by as per my videos use the, this pathway you can make is was a very useful if you want to make it different kind of letters you need to work in out your mask because of your mask it's very important to make your bubbles visibility so don't don't play don't make it out see it make it serious because of if, if you can't make it to perfect things without these tools so select the now you can make the mask so turn on this one layer you can see only this this layer only so now this is a this is the only thing you can see the uh, bubbles only inside this mask only so select this mask and now 
go to the uh, bubbles one layer and paste it because of the same path we needed so that's why you can but you need to go to invert this uh, mask because of uh, you can see uh, now but you need you need a invest here and don't invest here those are okay now play the video from start you can see the bubbles from here the letters and move towards the upper but here the bubbles are on, uh, over the letters here inside the letter and here the outside of letter so let's go you can easily make it out the form left effects so you can now you can see the bubbles you can see the mini line because of your mask so select the mask properties and give the feather will be a 10 same thing this too but uh, here mask expectations will be a 5 and here to 2 now you can this right you can you can't see the uh, the line will be disappear so it is uh, very useful so try this when you get a line uh, because of you can you create a mask separate layer so that's why the line will be here appear so try these settings to remove this line now play the video for start to end here the bubbles were created and move towards the upper so cool and the final i mean the final step will be the uh, displacement map because of if you see the bubbles uh, if you get the, see the visibility uh, transparent of your bubbles in the letters or somewhere it will be some displacement as per your bubbles uh, shaded so you can't get this effect here it, because of the line will be straight but as per you can see that it through the bubbles the line will be also was play the same but of in real and the bubbles will be uh, reflect the lines so you're going to uh, add the one more final step of displacement map type displacement map here you go to the add in the lost form layers so now you can here you can see uh, displacement map layer will be a form don't choose it you can choose it out uh, form one you choose it out form one and go to the use red and here to red and maximum vertical will be 10 and here to 10 now you can see this this making this will be a happening this i told you this is the uh, what i told before this is the effect of this uh, what i do try to say this is you can see now i turn off this displacement now turn on the displacement uh, if you see through the your bubbles the uh, reflection of your backside letters or image will be a uh, little bit i uh, mean collapse like uh, I mean uh, displacement that's why I'm using this effect to make it this so I hope you you like this tutorial uh, I got posted in the project files and the support files in description so don't forget to sub subscribe my channel and give your comments in below so it's for useful for improve my skills to, to make a tutorial guys have a nice day bye